In this video, we'll find the number of protons and electrons for Zn2+. This is the zinc ion. So the first thing to do, when we look on the periodic table, here's zinc on the periodic table. We can see that zinc is a neutral element. That means it doesn't have a negative or a positive sign. So we have a neutral element here with zinc. We can see also we have an atomic number. This number right here is the atomic number of 30. So the atomic number is 30, and the atomic number that's the number of protons. So we could also put 30 here for the protons for zinc. When we have an ion, the only thing that's different between this ion here and this neutral element of zinc, that's the number of electrons. So the atomic number for zinc, whether it's neutral or an ion, that's going to be 30. So the protons, that has to be 30 as well. For zinc, we said on the periodic table, it's a neutral element. And all the elements listed on the periodic table here, they're neutral. In a neutral element, the number of protons, that's going to equal the number of electrons. So we have 30 protons, 30 electrons. Zn2+, plus, this isn't neutral. We have this charge written up here. When we have a positive charge, that means we've lost electrons. Think of it this way. Electrons are negative. If we lose negative charges, we become positive. So here for Zn2+, plus, we lost two electrons. So 30 minus 2 that gives us 28. That's the number of electrons for Zn2+. It's important to understand that when an atom loses an electron, negative charge, it becomes positive. The atom that receives that electron, it gets the negative charge, it becomes a negative ion. If you need help finding the number of neutrons for the different isotopes of zinc, there's a link in the description to help you do that. This is Dr. B with the number of protons and electrons for Zn2+, the zinc ion. Thanks for watching.